Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Hello, I am Matt Adams, and this is your Golf Central update. This week marked the end of a career for a friend of the Golf Channel, John Cook. Cook, who won 11 times in the PGA Tour and another 10 times on the PGA Tour champions, decided to retire this week in front of friends and family at Mission Hills. A little more on Cook's career. He won the USM in 1978, was part of the Ohio State 1979 National Championship team, and he was a member of the 1993 U.S. Ryder Cup team that won at the Belfry. John joined George Savarikas and Eamon Lynch on Golf Today. What was the final walk like on Sunday? Uh, you know, it was, uh, it, it was really fun. It was, it was a great uh, Great week here in um, in the Palm Desert area, Palm Springs area. A lot of family and friends uh, came out. Uh, my whole family, my my two daughters, you know, one of their husbands, and little granddaughter Jason was on the bag. So we had a big family affair, big family get together. But the walk was pretty surreal. You know, I spent a lot of time uh, of my life at Mission Hills. So um, just walking around the, the the last three days, getting paired with you know, David Duvall and Fred Funk, Olin Brown, um, Scott McCarron, and then yesterday, Tim O'Neill and KJ Choi was, you know, it's just a great walk. Um, I was just walking around, getting numbers from my son, Jason, and uh, hitting golf shots. And some were good and some weren't so good. And that's just the way it was. It was, uh, yesterday was just a real fun, very surreal walk. Why, why now, John? And why here at Mission Hills in terms of making that decision to walk away? Yeah, great question, Eamon. And so when I saw that uh, you know this event was going to be on the PGA Tour Champions calendar, I wanted to be involved in somehow, some way, shape, or form um, to be able to to be part of this. And whether it was either going to be on the TV crew or as a host, but you know, and, and George, we played enough golf together. My game is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, I thought, what better place to, to call it a, a career than at Mission Hills, uh, where I spent so much time, um, you know, with Ken Venturi and really learning the game of golf and how to play at a high level. So I just thought it was the right time. Your game's still dangerous. I've seen enough of it. <laughs> I know what you're <laughs> capable of. You look at your career arc, you're the rear guy. I mean, your first PGA Tour win it was back in 1981. Your last win on the PGA Tour Champions. 2014. In those 33 years, you combined it <laughs> 21 wins between the PGA Tour and PGA Tour champions. When you have some time to reflect, what are you most proud of what you were able to accomplish during your time as an amateur and then your long and distinguished career as a professional? You know, as I think as, as an amateur and in, and in college, uh, I, I just got better and better. <laughs> and, you know, being part of that uh, you know, NCAA championship team was really why we, you know, you go to college. So I was just so, you know, so proud and, and honored to, to represent uh, Ohio State University as a student athlete. But then, you know, reflecting back on my career, I'm, you know, extremely proud, extremely pleased, uh, very happy with what I, I had accomplished. I worked very, very hard. I had great support from uh, my family, my wife, Jan, and, and, and our kids, uh, Chris and Courtney and Jason, they, they knew that dad was out playing golf, but he was always going to come home and we'd always do a lot of good things together. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm really proud of, of what I accomplished. A little bit disappointed I didn't capture a major uh, championship or two. Um, that's a really the only disappointment. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I've done on both tours. And, uh, you know, I won a lot. I lost a lot. <laughs> I lost a ton. Um, but I did win a lot. And, um you know, won some big events, and uh, I couldn't have done it without uh, the great support of my family. John, you made your debut on the PGA Tour in Ohio at the World Series of Golf back in October of 1978, 45 <laughs> years ago, and you were 21 at the time. What do you wish 21-year-old John Cook had known that 65-year-old John Cook knows now? <laughs> oh, boy. It, uh, you know, you learn so much along the way. You, you, you have so many great experiences um, you know, meeting some wonderful people al along the way that did just uh, enjoy the game of golf. I probably would say to myself, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the walk a little bit more. I was so competitive 
uh, Eamon, that a lot of times I didn't enjoy the walk. I, I, I love the competition. I love walking up and down the range and, you know, seeing, uh, you know, these great players play and knowing a chance, to, you know, I, I had a good chance to, to beat them and to win golf tournaments. But maybe I didn't appreciate it, uh, you know, the, 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 what I had and what was going for me. I totally appreciated the fact that I got to do – uh, what I love to do for a living. So that, that part I, I understand, but maybe I could have enjoyed myself and not been so hard on myself uh, you know, during those years. And people that have watched me play knew that I could run a little bit hot. Um, and uh, it was only getting mad at myself. I, I wish I probably could have enjoyed that walk a little bit, a little bit more. Well, obviously you accomplished a lot. You won a lot of tournaments out there. Is there one tournament that got away from you? over the last 40 odd years that still pops into your head once in a while when you're trying to sleep at night? Yeah, I mean, I think you know the answer to this one. <laughs> 1992 Open Championship at Muirfield, I thought was mine. Um, you know, coming down the stretch, I, I had, uh, I had um, Sir Nick Faldo you know, pretty much beat. And then I pretty much uh, beat up on myself, three putt and 17 for par and then making a bogey at 18. But, you know, he closed like a great champion, Hall of Famer that he is. And uh, I got clipped by a shot, but I, I, fir I had both hands firmly on that claret jug and uh, let that let let it slip away. And, you know, there was a Hall of Famer to uh, to to pick it up. So that would be the one uh, most disappointing. I, I, I think that still keeps me awake at night. And come July, when the Open Championship is at uh, at uh, Royal Liverpool, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll have the I'll have those thoughts again, I'm sure. John, what was the secret to your longevity? It's not too often we see a guy of double-digit wins in the PGA Tour and then double-digit wins on the PGA Tour champions. And I mentioned that 33-year arc from 81 <laughs> to 2014, bookended with wins, of course, at Pebble Beach. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that I just I love the game so much. I had a great support system with uh, Ken Venturi for so many years and later on with uh, Jamie Mulligan um, that, you know, I, I just – I had the will to compete. I, I had had instilled in me on uh, by my father, uh, Jim, when, at a young, young age, um, about the will to compete. Whatever sport I was playing, it was you, you try to be the best you can. I think um, I loved the competitiveness. I loved uh, the work ethic. I loved to work at it. But I loved the game so much, and I loved to be able to compete so much um, that I would do anything I could to, to keep that longevity. I think when, uh, my son, Jason got, you know, heavy into golf, he kind of, you know, gave me, you know, spurred me on a little bit more as well to, you know, to, uh, see him improve in his game and where he took it, his game to, um, might've kept me going a little bit longer in my, in my forties. There was also some, some kid, uh, lived down the street named Tiger Woods. that kind of, kind of inspired, uh, Mark O'Mara and I to keep, keep plugging along and, and try to keep competitive. So um, I had a lot of help along the way, but you know what? I, I just, I loved to compete. And I think uh, as long as my name was on my bag, that's what I was supposed to do. How do you want to be remembered, John? I mean, in terms of the guys that you played against and competed against for all those years, what would you like them to say about you when your career is done? Uh, you know, it, uh, a lot of players came up to me the last couple days and, said some uh, really, really nice words. And, you know, maybe just respect. I, I, I respected my, my, my competitors uh, so much, you know, at this, uh, level, this very high level of golf. Um, I, I respected all of my peers, uh, wh wh whatever their records were, wherever they came from. It didn't matter to me. But they were playing the greatest game, you know, ever, ever, ever put together. And, uh, you know, I, I just respected the game. I respected my peers. And that's how I'd like to be remembered.